Good day my fellow fans, today's royal news. King Charles's Christmas speech made no mention of his son Prince Harry or his wife Meghan Markle, leading some to believe it is a victory for the so-called House of Windsor. The slight Game of Thrones reference sees one royal expert claim that the snubbing of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex plants King Charles firmly in the Windsor camp. Said expert also declared Harry and Meghan as members of the House of Winge and claimed the recent Christmas speech was a big win for the Windsor household. The to the point speech was praised by Michael Cole, who spoke of Charles' Christmas message and its implications. He said, The King today gave a very good address. It was very much him. It was to the point. He'd obviously written it himself. That was really interesting, was the visuals. We saw a name check for the Prince and Princess of Wales. We saw on film the Earl and Countess of Wessex, Edward and Sophie, and we saw the Princess Royal, Princess Anne. What we didn't see was the Duke and Duchess of Sussex on their hilltop fortress in California. If I was doing football commentary, I would say House of Windsor 4, House of Winge 0. Cole also noted the lack of hilltop fortress mention, as did another expert. King Charles was noted to have deliberately left out any mention of Harry and Meghan in his speech. Expert Simon McCoy claimed that King Charles was focusing on the future of the family and alleged that it would make little sense to feature Harry and Meghan in his speech. It comes as warring fractions continue on from the bombshell release of the Sussex's Netflix documentary feature, with noting that King Charles may have totally outplayed the royal pair. Hmm, <laughs> interesting. Okay guys, royal news done and dusted for today. Please like, comment and subscribe for more. Goodbye for now.